George Stinney's sister Catherine remembers the day in 1944 like it was yesterday. This particular day I went to the beauty parlor with my brother Charles and my sister Amy stayed home with George. And when we came back, we met her on the road and she said that jo uh, George had been taken away. She said, taken away by who? Some men came in the car and took him away. And that was the last, I never saw him again. Police arrested 14-year-old George in connection with the murder of two young girls. About an hour later, a deputy announced George had confessed to the murders. His trial lasted less than a day and resulted in George being sent to the electric chair, making him the youngest person in the nation to be executed during the 20th century. His family and supporters gathered Monday, June 16th, to commemorate the exact day that George was executed 70 years ago. It makes the world aware that some, some atrocity went up on years ago and maybe it make the people who did the crime and their families realize that they, had, they knew about it and didn't say anything about it. They just let it slide. And even though George Stinney's trial was 70 years ago, legal advocates today have still not given up on his cause and they're hoping that a South Carolina judge will soon issue a symbolic verdict. Lawyers in Sumter County began a motion for a new trial for Stinney. The NAACP then approached Midland's attorney, Joe McCullough, to lend a hand to the fight. McCullough agreed after researching the case and seeing the injustice he believes was done. Our request is not for this judge to exonerate George Stinney. The, there's not enough record left to do that. But I think there is plenty of record to, to demonstrate and to persuade this judge, we hope, that the process was so flawed so unfair to George Stinney or anyone that the court should and can grant a new trial. But since the original trial happened so long ago, a full-blown redo is not going to happen, but the judge's decision in the matter will serve as a symbolic gesture. Now clearly there can't be a new trial, but a, but a grant of a new trial simply announces that this was not a fair process. It doesn't exonerate George Stinney, uh, and history will have to record that he was accused of the, the murder, uh, but not convicted if this motion is granted. But for now, George's sister still replays in her mind the lines she read that George wrote to the family while he was in prison before his execution. All he said in the letters, this thing that he accused me of, I am not guilty. That's it. That's it. In Columbia, Stephanie Helling, Watch Fox News.